Fall Guy is the latest movie from David uh, Leach. Leach. Uh, I don't know how to say his name. I'm just going to say David uh, Leach for now. I know it's not pronounced that way. Um, and stars Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. Uh, and is a movie about a stuntman who has to uncover a mystery uh, within the movie set to finish the movie. Um, I was mildly excited. Actually, not even just mildly. I was excited for this movie. Uh, while I did not love Bullet Train, uh, I really liked it. I thought it showed a lot of potential. I thought the action sequences were pretty great. Um, I thought it was just a very fun summer movie, and I expected more of the same here with Fall Guy, especially with Ryan Gosling's involvement. You know, everybody loves Ryan Gosling, uh, including myself. So, you know, this kind of had the writing on the wall for, like, a very fun summer movie. And... It really did not deliver on that promise. I felt this movie to be pretty hollow and extremely limp. Um, the best way to describe this is kind of a, a car running on neutral. It, it, it had all the right elements. You know, Ryan Gosling, great casting. Um, it had cool set pieces. You know, they got the right director, I feel. Um, the concept was pretty cool. Like, they, there was all of these... Um, elements working for the fall guy but they just didn't deliver on any of them this movie was stuck in first gear not to use another car metaphor here uh but for the entire time and i never felt like it got going it never uh reached you know the, the action didn't keep topping itself the the sequences were just so bland and 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 so listless uh, and I felt like the performances were barely there. I felt like, I don't know, I this movie gave me not a lot to talk about. And that sucks because, you know, I, I, a lot of people are liking this movie, honestly. You know, they're, they're, this, uh, the, the Fall Guy is getting pretty good reviews. And, um, you know, a lot of the same people that love Bullet Train are, are super excited about this. So I don't want to be that guy not really vibing with this movie. But I, I just wasn't. It, 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 I don't know. It wasn't my thing. Um, let's get into the performances because I feel like they are the surface of the issue here. Ryan Gosling is kind of on autopilot here. Um, after seeing what he can do in this kind of mainstream, more popcorn film in Barbie and giving arguably the best performance in that movie... I felt like he was just kind of coasting in The Fall Guy. He was doing his normal shtick of, you know, being sarcastic and uh, the aloof cool guy uh, who gets himself into odd situations. But I, I didn't feel it, it that here. You know, you, you take a look at, at a performance like, like this and then a performance like uh, something in Crazy Stupid Love where it's very clear how much he cares about that role and how much effort he put into it because he embodied that character. He was still playing, you know, a Ryan Gosling type role, but he's doing it with so much effort and so much fun and so much spunk, and there's none of that here. There is, I don't know, there's nothing to really note on his performance. It's fine, it's serviceable for a lead, he is kind of just going through the motions, and it, it shows. It really does show. Uh, Emily Blunt also really does not give me much to talk about. Uh, she's also just doing her normal shtick, and I, I, I really can't stand it when movies do this type of casting where they just kind of let the actors be themselves, and it, 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 it doesn't translate, you know? I, this movie needed some chemistry between the two leads. It needed two strong personalities to kind of carry this um, incredibly thin and, and um, you know, basic as hell script. You know, straight to DVD stuff, really. Um, and they just didn't. And the, the whole movie kind of crumbles beneath them. Um, and I, 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 I just felt like both of their, their, uh, performances were, were lifeless and, and, and had, didn't have that spark. Credit where credit is due. I did really like a lot of the action sequences. I thought they were well choreographed. I thought that they were well shot. I thought that they had some comedic timing to them. I felt like they had, um, an energy and I was entertained while that, uh, excuse me, while those moments were happening. 
you know that that is what you came for that is what most people are going to see with this movie uh and you know i liked it it was good it wasn't you know anything special it wasn't even really on the level of something like uh, bullet train but i liked it it was serviceable and it, it it got the job done unlike a lot of the other elements in this movie uh, another thing i do want to note i really did like uh some of the supporting cast uh kick ass i always forget his name but he's in it and he's kind of a, an antagonist and i liked his performance it was fun uh the dad from us he was really great uh, you know i feel like he always brings a pretty good presence to whatever movie he's in he does that thing uh where you know he kind of plays himself in every movie but does it well um and then uh you have the daughter uh from everything ever all at once also just always crushing it i thought her performance was very fun so th there are moments of this movie that I do like. There are performances that I like. But overall, I it just felt stale. This movie felt like every other joke was self-referential. You know, um, every other romantic moment between Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt fell flat on its head. Um, every action sequence felt like it had been done better in other David... Uh, leech movies you know uh it, it it all just felt disposable and 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 i know that you know i could be reading too much into this this is just a stupid action popcorn movie i'm not supposed to be taking it that seriously but i, I i'm sick of not taking action movies seriously i'm sick of of you know these movies skating by on just being like, oh, it's silly and it's poking fun at the genre. Oh, it's being self-referential, yada, 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 and not putting any effort into anything. I'm not, I don't, you know, want cinema when I, when I go to see these movies. I understand wh who they are for and what they are doing. But what separates stuff like this and like John Wick or Bullet Train, not to keep bringing that up, or, a, uh, you know, a lot of superhero movies that work. It's because they take themselves seriously enough to, um, you know, not not just be a joke. You know, I, I'm sick of everything being a one big joke. It's it's obnoxious. And I, I would like to see more stuff take itself serious, more seriously, a little bit. Because, like, it's just putting in no effort and it's like, oh, that's the point. Like, no. Like, ugh. This isn't the worst movie I've ever seen. It's not, you know, offensive. It's not abysmal in any way. It's watchable. Um, it, it's fine. And I'm sure a lot of other people will love it. But I, it, it, I don't know. I don't like movies like this very much because they just give me nothing to talk about when I, when I review them. I blank when, whenever I re review them because they just are so... Eh. They're so bland they're so generic they're so homogenous they're stale they are nothing and the fall guy is very much nothing and i'm gonna forget about it in like two months so uh the fall guy gets gets a c um yeah it's whatever i don't know so that is my review for the fall guy um i had to switch back to my old camera for this review um uh, just because i'm i'm moving shit with college and it, it whole scheduling thing so uh my new camera will be back in the next review uh kingdom of the planet of the apes comes out hopefully that movie will deliver and uh yeah did you guys see fall guy did you were you disappointed by it and kind of didn't care for it like me did you hate it did you love it uh anything in between please let me know in the comments uh subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next video